If you're like me and you work in Adobe software all the time, you find yourself manipulating images in Photoshop often where you need to distort your image, you need to make the perspective different, you need to make one side longer than the other, and in order to do that you just use your distort tool in Photoshop. But here in Premiere, to do that to video footage, it's a little bit different, but the concept is generally the same. So in order to make this footage fit my screen in the background here, I have a screen at an angle. So I'm going to need the perspective to change where my left hand side is longer and my right hand side is shorter. In order to do this, it's not very difficult. You just need to add one effect and then manipulate that effect uh, according to your needs. So I have my footage selected. I need to go up to my effects panel. If you don't have an effects panel, make sure it's selected under window and then checked off here, and then you should have that open to you. So I'm going to search in the search bar, distort. Okay, and then you'll see this folder, distort, and the effect that we need from here is the corner pin. It's not totally obvious that you would use this, but I'll show you that it works. So double click it to apply it to your footage, or you can just drag and drop it onto that footage. And then you're going to go over to your effect controls. Make sure you have that open. If you don't, back to window and effect controls right here. And then you're going to scroll through those effects and you'll see your corner pin that you just dropped on. I dropped it on twice, so I'm going to delete one of them. And I actually have one from before. I'm going to delete that too. So now we've got our corner pin, but nothing has been distorted just yet. Um, if you're not selecting the corner pin, you won't see handles to control the corners, but if you do have the effect selected, you'll see these little blue handles, and those you can just drag and move into position. So you can do this visually. And if you don't want to do it visually, or you're working with something that's very particular, you can use the upper left, upper right, upper uh, lower left, lower right controls, and the X and Y axis, axis and you can kind of just drag them accordingly. So you can do it manually using those little handles. And if you don't see the handles, make sure you've actually selected your effect. Um, and if you don't want to do it manually, just manipulate the numbers. But manually, for the most part, will get me where I need to be. That's how you distort in Premiere. So if this helps you, please give me a like and let me know if you have any questions in the comments. As always, you can animate any of these, so that can be really cool. And you'll see your video plays just as it should when scrolling through. So I hope this helped you guys. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.